Lena's family and the strict Mount Holly church they attended back then were less than cooperative with the investigation. There's always been speculation she was taken away by family friends or perhaps murdered to keep the identity of the baby's father secret. everybody welcome back to the milk carton series i'm your host stephanie if you are new and as always guys we thank you for tuning in now you guys will never believe me on how i came across this story it's actually kind of creepy just like our last story well i'm in wally world leaving with my daughter and i just so happened to look up at the missing persons poster if you guys ever been in wally world you know the poster that i'm referring to I look up and i was it just so happened that something caught my eye and I seen a young girl and she was beautiful. And I was like, oh my goodness, like this little girl is missing. Um, I wasn't able to like really read her case, but I did peep her name, right? Now, y'all, I never looked this little girl up. So you guys, I use the same sites when I'm looking for stories because a lot of other black creators or other big creators, um, post articles so i love to use them to help me with bringing the stories together well one of my favorite ones is our black girls right and i lie to you not who appears on that website and this little girl has been missing for a long time from 1996 so that goes to show you that i didn't search for her all right so i come across 12 year old selena may Selena went missing back in December of 1996 and I was just taken back by her case. Like it was like something was pulling me to find this case and put it on my platform. Now this story was kind of heartbreaking in a sense because not only was Selena 12 years old, but she was nine months pregnant when she disappeared. She was due any day, any day, the end of December guys and if you're wondering how on earth does a 12 year old get pregnant i don't know as i'm deep diving into selena's case researching about her i'm just like wow i i can kind of see some things right so on december 15th 1996 around 11 p.m selena was at her aunt's house now on that evening it has been stated that they believe Selena ran away. She disappeared, right? She planned this. Well, on that evening, on the morning, you might as well say, when they went to go check on Selena, she was not there. There was a blanket covered by pillows. You know how you do, you try to hide and make it look like a body under that blanket. But Selena was not in this physical room at all. She disappeared. Now, Selena stood at five feet, weighing around 120 pounds. And again, she was nine months pregnant. She had just seen her doctor who basically stated that Selena was an emotional, mature 12 year old. Now, you're probably wondering, well, who's the dad? Where is the dad, right? Well, Selena never dropped that identity or identification of who the child's father was. And till this day, there is no information regarding who the father of this child is because one that would be rape and two if the child's father was under the age it's still a little sad you know what i'm saying well as the story unfolds selena's father by the name of cj he was an accountant and bookkeeper for the gospel christ of ministries back in New Jersey and her sister was the pastor of this church so Selena grew up in a very strict church environment and if you are a church kid you definitely know what I am saying I literally grew up in the church I hated church as an adult you want to know why because I had to go almost every other freaking day and it disrupted the relationship between God I had to find God on my own and now I can only imagine at 12 being homeschooled not really able to go to public like you did before and now you're in this environment where everything is just so structured so you're probably wondering well where is selena's mother well selena's mother died two years before she disappeared she died from a brain aneurysm and her name was lynn lynn marie selena's parents were never married but they did have a 
crazy background. Back in the day, Selena's father was a guitar player. He had a drug and alcohol problem. And Selena's mother was said that she was kind of like a stripper of the nature. So their relationship was very rocky. And, you know, she ended up changing her life around and becoming a custodian. And she was just trying to do better. But sadly, she ended up dying two years before Selena would disappear. Now, the crazy thing about this story as well is that many of the family both sides of the families feel like both try to hide selena or you know try to be the provider for selena as well because before cj had custody of selena it had been written in the charlie project that that sounds so weird to say like the charlie project but that is the news article guys it is a database for missing person cases so if you ever want to check out any missing person cases always go to them or our black girls or black and missing foundation it's a huge database that is besides the other known ones if you really want to read detailed stories but nonetheless selena was kind of caught in the crossfires after her mother died and she would stay with friends and families before she ended up living with her dad. Now, the church, right? It had been stated that the church got many complaints about being very strict and kind, what is the word? Brainwashing their congregation. So they had got many complaints about this, but also the simple fact that they feel like some church members may be hiding Selena. There has been rumors that maybe one of her cousins is the father but there is no proof of that whatsoever um and that is pretty much the story now there has been some sightings that people say but these have never been confirmed that they have seen selena so it has been stated that selena's mother has family in michigan and florida so maybe she may be around those areas have traveled to florida kentucky tennessee and several other states trying to track down leads with no evidence of foul play and no word on her whereabouts i am hopeful that she's alive just weird because it's like i know i have another sister but i never really got to meet her so and that the mother did have a life insurance policy that selena would have been able to collect once she turned 18. Now, there is no new information regarding the disappearance of Selena, and she is still missing as well as the baby. Now, when I read all of this and try to like just comprehend what the hell I just read, it made me wonder who or what happened to Selena. Like, what did someone do? Now, there has been rumors that Selena wanted to disappear because her father wanted to know the identity of the child's father and they wanted to do a paternity test of this. And it had been also rumored that maybe Selena met a boy when she would go skating and that would potentially be the child's father. It makes you wonder if she did run away, what was she so afraid of? What secrets would come out? Because when you read, the family knew that she was pregnant at four months. So I wonder, who the child's father was like was it a family member or you know what i'm saying like someone who was more older than 16 because that would raise an eyebrow but also let's not be naive if she did meet you know a young boy as well a teenager and as i read in a document let's go back to the cousin theory right the reason why the cousin was brought up is because this person had sexual allegations against him in the church. And that's why I say church child, like sometimes it'd be some funky stuff that be going on. And it makes you it, it's it's truly sad because it takes away the relationship that you want to have, you know, whoever you believe in. Let me throw that out there. But, you know, it takes away when people take away like when people make religious super strict money hungry it takes away the spirituality of having that relationship with whoever you believe in you know what i'm saying and so as i began to read i didn't like the fact that i read that her father stopped helping with the investigation and it even been rumored maybe he was the father but he was able to provide documentation that he had a vasectomy two years before her disappearance I didn't like the fact that they the church was so strict on who could be a member um the house not being able to be searched it makes you wonder different theories okay did selena actually run away because she was so tired of the strict religious stuff 
or did something happen to her on the flip side of it because they knew who in fact this child's father was and if the identity was to come about they would all go down because the cousin was over the age of 18. it makes you wonder on both sides of it like did she run away to protect her child and did she run away or was she killed or did something happen to her or they're hiding her because of the simple fact they didn't want anyone to know who the child's father was regardless of that it's trifling as hell because where is the, where 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 is she and as a mother i cannot i cannot like no judgment far as the pregnancy but if my child i pray that does never happen we're not gonna speak that shit into life because that's just i don't know absolutely not i will want the best care for my kid and regardless if who the child's father is like there's something has to be done like in the articles it had been reported that foul play was thrown out but of course selena is still missing um and honestly, I think she might have just ran away. She didn't want to deal with the foolery that her life consumed of. Because even at 12 years old, yeah, you may not know everything, but there is things that you just don't want to even put yourself in. And I feel like that's what she probably did. She got away from it. Well, that's today's stories, guys. As always, I'm wishing you all love and light. And hopefully some new information does turn about whether, you know, Selena ran away or not, you know, People need to know what happened, especially loved ones that really cared about her. You know, it, it just, it, that's a hurtful thing to know that you couldn't do anything if you're anything to stop the situation if that person did run away. So as always, guys, I'm sending you love and light and I'll see you in the next video. There wasn't the social media that we had now. We can reach tens of thousands of people in just a couple hours. The age enhanced photo has just been released by the Willingboro Police Department on its Facebook page. Police say they'll continue updating her photo, hoping she'll be found.